guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a great week so far. So I know a lot of you guys that watch my channel are hooded eyed babes. You have hooded eyes. I have only slightly hooded eyes and the older I get, the less hooded they seem to become, which is odd, I know. No, I haven't had any surgery, nothing like that. I've actually done a video on it, so if you wanna watch that, I'll put it up here, is it that corner? I'll put it up there, I think. But if you have hooded eyes, you'll know as well as I do that makeup can be tricky on hooded eyes because a lot of the time you'll open your eyes and not be able to see your hard work or everything will end up on the hood of your eye. It just can be, it can be a disaster. So I have figured out three different makeup techniques that you can use for hooded eyes no matter how hooded or how only slightly hooded your eyes are. And also if your eyes are more of the puffy hooded or the droopy hooded, these will all work for you. Some techniques that work better for different kinds of hooded eyes and I'll explain that in the video as I show you the techniques. But I'm really hoping that you guys will find this very helpful. I'm actually thinking about doing some kind of like hooded eye series on my channel where I show you guys like loads of different tips and tricks for hooded eyes or like three different hooded eye looks using one palette or something like that. If you guys will be interested in that, let me know down below and I'll definitely film that for you. I can upload them on a certain day of the week if you guys would like that. Whatever you want, let me know in the comments down below and majority will win. So yeah, I'm just gonna get on with this video now and hope that you guys find it helpful. For your reference, the eyeshadow look I'm wearing right now is Technique 3. FYI. And if you're not already following me on Instagram, come and follow me on Instagram. This is my Instagram handle. I update on Instagram stories every single day, so it's kind of like a mini life reel, like mini vlogs every single day. So if you want to keep up with me and my life, that's where to find that stuff. And I will link all the products that I've mentioned in this video down below. Okay, let's get on with it. So first of all, the brush that I'll be using is the Sigma E35 Blending Brush, and the palette I'll be working from is the Sigma Warm Neutrals Volume 2 palette. Also, this video is actually not sponsored by Sigma, even though I will be using a lot of their products, I just like Sigma. The color I'm gonna go in with is this warm tan shade here called Toasty. The technique I'll be showing you first is the cut crease. I'm taking Toasty and gently blending it into the socket of my eye. Not the crease, but the eye socket, which is actually higher than the crease. If you have severely hooded eyes, this may be up on the hood of your eye. I'm now taking a Sigma A25 blending brush and a darker brown matte shade called Henna, and I'm gradually darkening up the socket of the eye. You can ignore the lid altogether, as we'll be using concealer here later on. I'm now going to cut the crease. I'll be taking the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer on a tiny Sigma L06 brush. Now see where the actual crease of my eye is, right here with the little arrows pointing? But we're actually going to ignore our natural creases altogether and apply the concealer higher up onto the hoods of our eyes. I'm carefully and as neatly as possible carving out the appearance of a new higher eyelid. Using the matte white shade called Humble on a Sigma E21 smudge brush, I'm carefully setting that concealer in place because obviously we don't want it to crease. I'm now going back in with the warm brown shade Henna on a Sigma E25 brush and I'm applying a small amount of the eyeshadow to the outer corner of my eye. This will make your new eyelid appear a lot more natural and also elongate the look of your eyes. And it's literally as easy as that. Look how much bigger my eyelid looks now. I have done a super in-depth video on how to do a cut crease for hooded eyes, so I'll pop it in the top right-hand corner there for you. There it is, click on that if you wanna watch how to do it in more detail. Right, on to the next technique. I created this technique for hooded eyes called the dome shape, and you guys seem to love it. It's so quick and so easy, and it looks amazing on even the most hooded eyes. In fact, it actually looks even better on super hooded eyes. So to start off my dome shape, I'm going in with Toasty again on a Sigma E25 brush. Again, I have done a very in-depth tutorial on the dome shape for hooded eyes, so I'll pop the link in the top right-hand corner for you to watch. What you want to do with the dome shape is bring your eyeshadow up higher than the natural crease of your eye, so up onto the hood of your eye. To decide how high to bring your eyeshadow, open your eyes and look at yourself straight ahead in the mirror. If you can't see your eyeshadow when you open your eyes, then you need to bring it up higher. I'm now going in with henna and repeating the same step and gradually darkening that lid up. The only difference is, is that I'm not going to bring henna up quite as high. That way we achieve that beautiful gradient effect where the eyeshadow goes from dark to light. I'm now taking a Sigma E40 blending brush to blend that out and soften up the dome shape. 
And there we go, it is that easy. P.S. I think I deserve a thumbs up in this video purely for the torture I pulled my eyes through in filming this. Now onto technique three. This is a look I'm wearing in the intro of this video and it's also the technique that I wear most days. It would suit slightly hooded eyes the best. So again, I've got Toasty on a Sigma E25 brush and similar to technique one, I'm blending this shadow through the socket of my eyelid which is higher than my natural crease. Now I'm going in with Henna and I'm applying this on top of Toasty but I'm gonna keep Henna concentrated to the outer corner of my eye. Then whatever is left on my brush, I'm gonna blend that inwards through my socket. Using an E35 brush, I'm gonna gently blend these two colors out. Now I'm taking a matte white shade called Humble and I'll be applying this to the lid of my eye using a Sigma E57 brush. This will help brighten the eyelid and the dark henna color at the outer corners of our eyes will help to elongate the look of our eyes. You can then go in and add eyeliner, mascara, whatever you want really. Let me know if you guys want me to film a tutorial with different techniques for eyeliner for hooded eyes. So there we go guys, that is my three top techniques for hooded eyes so that they'll work no matter what style of hooded eye you actually have. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up. That way I know that you guys liked it and I can do more videos like this. If you're not already subscribed, I do loads of hooded eye tutorials. I'll actually put a little playlist here. Here's a playlist of my hooded eye tutorials so you can flick through them. Click my face here to subscribe and then here's another video that you might like. Thanks guys for watching, I love you and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!